See, every time, hi guys, I go to turn the TV on, the TV, the, the camera, and then, you know, all the cards start coming. So I think I found a second. I'm just pulling some random cards. Messages from your person, quick read. I have not done one in a while. I'm just gonna, I'm shuffling cards now to see, you know, if we have an idea of who, what, when, I'm, I'm back here shuffling. I can't I have some makeshift, whatever this is, trying to hold this camera up. <clears throat> My other one is uh, a little weird, so let's see. Who's the main energy that comes up for the collective, please? The collective. Give me a couple of cards. I want to know who this person is. Oh, whoever this person is, it could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. Somebody could have came in and broke your heart. This could have happened in autumn. Um, hmm. I feel like whoever this person is, there's, they're in some sort of recovery from a third party. So I don't know if you guys broke up. It says, are you holding on to grief and suffering? Well, it looks like if we were to look at it this way, better to live the truth than a lie. So there's something that came about for this person where they need to recover from it. And that's probably where they are right now. For some of these folks, they could have, could have um, had some sort of a surgery or something like that. Let me let let all the folks pass by so they could have had some sort of surgery somebody could be recovering from surgery just got out of surgery uh, this is heartbreak it's heartbreak all right so somebody could be recovering from some court some sort of grief and heartbreak all right now let me just see what messages come up from this person if there's no communication i'm assuming there is not there's recovery there's forgiveness or a need to forgive that this person we're going to see where they are we're going to see in terms of the recovery where they are what do you have to say to the collective, please? Whoever you are, what do you have to say to the collective? What do you have to say to the collective? What do you have to say? I don't know why I let you go. All right. I feel like whatever happened here, there's a possibility that a Libra Aquarius or a Gemini or somebody in that energy could have took off on you somehow. Hold on. Let me see if I can turn this over. Yeah. Somebody could have took off on you. Of course. You see what I mean, guys? Let me just go ahead and get through this. Ain't nothing but the devil. Hold on. We also have, you are the one that I've been looking for my whole life. So somebody let you go, and after you took off, or after they left you, or whatever happened here, they realize you're the only one. This person is deciding whether or not they want to ask you to forgive them. This is this is what they're thinking. They're not communicating this to you. Please forgive me. Should I ask for forgiveness? Give me more. Should I ask for forgiveness? All right, so this one came up reversed here. This is another thought of theirs. I hope you don't know that I've been watching you on social media. Well, this person doesn't want you to know that they've been spying on you on social media, but I think they know. It came up reversed. I'm pretty sure that you guys are aware that whoever this person is, they're watching you on social media. So any platforms that you have or something like that, that's the wind. Any platforms that you have or something like that, they could be taking a look at you. Some of them could be trying to wean off right wean off of you so maybe they're not looking at you on social media as much i feel like there's some regret here give me more please we also have and this does come up reverse also i'll make it up to you if you let me i promise you i'm going to do better this is what this person is thinking i think this person is being realistic i feel like this person's like i see the future when i look in your eyes okay so i still feel like this person maybe they're reflecting on pictures or something like that maybe they see you in passing um, I don't think that you guys are communicating. I feel like this is done through picture or social media. I don't know why I let you go. Um, and it also says maybe they're trying to not look at you as much on social media because they know that they lost you. But this person still sees the future when they look at you. Let me see what else comes up. Any more clues about who this could be? Or, of course. Tell me more. Let me just pull one. Who's this? All right, some of you guys, this could have something to do with the water sign. A Pisces energy does come up. This person could be deciding whether or not, um, again, do I want to approach you? Do I want to approach you? Do I want to try and get this back with you? This is Neptune water. This is maybe. All right, now this did come out reversed here. So this person is thinking, am I going to be able to? It, to me, it feels like whatever they did, they must have done something because they are wondering. Is the Pisces energy here? The breakup could have been um, because of a Pisces indecision narrow-minded and holding back so this person still has some thinking to do or 
there was a Pisces that maybe came into a third party. We also have the star. This is Aquarius. Yep, we have Aquarius energy. So another piece to this could be some broken heart having to do with the star, which is an Aquarius and a Pisces. So what we're looking at, we could have we could have a Pisces energy who's in the three of swords energy or recovering from something. Could have had some sort of surgery, whatever. But they're looking for forgiveness and trying to move on. That's the energy. There's something with the star card. I feel like whoever these folks are, they could even be in the public eyes. Um, this person is hoping for some sort of renewal and hope. But I think they're thinking it might be impossible for that to happen. That's what I'm getting. So the energies that do come up here, uh, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini come up. Let's see if there's any other few cards that I have laying around out here. Because I, you know, I don't want to make this long. I'm just going to pull some tea cards to see if we can get any messages out of here. Just some randoms. I just randomly pull them from the deck or randomly going to shuffle. All right, I'll pull a few more just to get some texture. A few more. All right. And we'll leave you with some messages here. And I'll come back with a few more messages. I just wanted to switch up the vibe a little bit. You know, uh, you know switch it up a little bit. All right. The good thing is I'm going to shuffle them while they're passing by, right? All right. <clears throat> Give me messages for the collective, please. Just take me to where I need to go. Tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to know. All right, so we have here mm, a leaf. There's something with a new life coming. Lighthouse, you can help to inspire others. You may find yourself in a position of leadership in the future. So some of you guys could have leadership positions coming up. All right, those are messages left for you. There's something about a ladder. You're going to travel to great success. So if you guys are not communicating with this person, I feel like this is your energy collective that you guys are going to climb some sort of a ladder. It could be, you know, whatever ladder. I, I, I don't know. Whatever kind of ladder. Just pick a ladder. <laughs> All right, let's see what else comes up here. We also have, um, this brings me to flowers. Good fortune or happy or happy marriage. Uh, for some of you guys, a fish. Good news from afar. If it, it if... If it's it, in the midst of dots, a long journey is predicted. If it's in the midst of dots, I don't necessarily see dots here, whatever that means. But we also have passion, fire, sexual longing, that comes up also. Um, another energy that comes up here, something about disappointment, sunrise, swallow, joyful news from a loved one. Now this card did come up reverse. Some of you guys are learning to get through some kind of love quarrels here. For some of you guys, this has to do with uh, a marriage because it did come up reverse. Some of you guys are trying to have a better day when it comes to a marriage. It also says here, swallow joyful news. I feel like some of you guys are going to get some news you're not going to be very happy about, whatever that's about. Um, in a new beginning, it could be an end. You know, I'm a literal reader, so one more. The symbols could potentially represent the quarant will visit a gambling town such as Las Vegas. Some of you guys, you're going to take a trip to Vegas at some point. Maybe you're going to hear some, some good techno, EDM, whatever I hear playing in the air right now, right? Um, so there's going to be something where you guys are going to visit a casino or something like that. It says, however, they could have a deeper meaning. Please see some specific exam examples on the following card. Uh, these are some of the most universally recognized. Somebody's going to Vegas. I'm going to pull one more. If the number six were to appear, this would indicate the journey would last six days or six weeks. Something about six weeks or six days. I feel like when I take a look at the theme of this, I'm taking a look at the theme of it. I feel like you guys are trying to definitely find harmony in something, right? I feel like some of you guys are trying to find a peace in not having answers from somebody who you are not speaking to. And some of you guys don't care to have answers, but do understand that this person is thinking about you. There's something about they could be working, climbing a ladder, or this could be you. Something about a lighthouse can help you to inspire others. There's something about news that's coming from afar. There's also some news about a coral that's coming from afar also. So you guys are going to hear something about an ending coming up. You guys are also going to hear about somebody being able to manifest something. Good fortune is coming up, manifesting good fortune, finding harmony in a situation. I feel like for some of you guys, you're on your way to build a ladder. Once you start building this ladder here, which in a sense is kind of you... Um, 
you've manifested and now you're working towards it. It's like you're going from a nine to a ten. Like this is something that you're attaining. Your new leaf, new life. Good news and then there's some bad news. That's how life goes. It switches in between. And there's going to be a trip to Las Vegas. And there's something with the number six. Six days, six weeks. A wavy or brokey, a broken line means a delayed journey and straight lines mean quick journeys. You guys might have a quick journey to Vegas. Honestly, that's what I'm getting. Anyway, it's getting to be too much out here. I love you guys. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye.